My name is Wisdom Macaulay. I'm elder brother of Annie Macaulay Dibia. I'm crying out for help now. At this moment, my life is being threatened. I have been working with my sister for some time, but she will never pay me my dues. Hello, my correct, correct people. Welcome back again to another new episode on Entertainment Matter. Hey, hey. Any Idibia family, don't cry. Come out for social media. This one a hot gist when they work out for inside the media. My people, nothing will not go here for this our generation. As it be say fire don't enter any Idibia elder brother house. Hey, hey, my people. He don't call let us know, say, not be all that glint as a go though, not be the way we they see any Idibia, the popular singer, two face Idibia wife, not be the way we they see her for outside, not be say it be for his house. So, hey, hey, he say he don't they work for her for years, he know they pay him. Hmm. He say even his children, they know they feel see money to chop. Oh boy, yeah, this one a matter as he by himself don't carry his sister matter, family matter where they're supposed to settle for behind closed door. He don't carry and call the public market of social media courtroom. So we day here to help us shuktalize my blastermize the matter the way it is day. And inside this same matter, Annie Idibia has said she don't call reply halt. Oh my god. When I see this black post when I they see so eh, I go leave the full post white the one of it read and cool. This one uh, Annie has said Annie Idibia don't call reply halt. So he heard that brother say he don't put her for work. The other brother say he won't become manager to his own company. Imagine that. He tell him, say, no, you don't qualify to be a manager. He they give you money anytime when you want, despite you they work under him. He they pay your children school fees, so he say, imagine this last night when he take cry, come out for the help of our Nigerians for social media. Even the wife still play another audio. They cry, say, yesterday they drive the children from school. He Immediately, now so you take pay again into the children's uh, school account for their school direct. Nothing when you know they do for this in brother. He not see anything when brother, the, when his younger sister or elder sister, when sister really love they do to brother, when he never do for his brother. But his brother just feel say he won't come tarnish her image at this time of a peak for her, her, her career. Everybody knows say right now she just pick up once again after so many long time and long years. Now, now a brother won't make it come for him that say, but God, they with he and the family with her children. Oh my god it pains me because some family these days are really healthy imagine your own elder a younger sister you just kind of come beat them like this for social media wait till you can't wait make another person when you use it yet a year won't do my people the matter eh, it tie auto gilly as she they explain with the tears and a heavy heart say in brother if he carry him come out like this come Open a bomb bomb for social media. He said, but he don't want to play any audio video with audio voice when his wife done the play till they beg the talk about him since yesterday. And even all the audios when he dealt with him when he this in brother, when he don't help her, but he won't come see make it come disgracing. He said, there is God though. Hey, hey, you might be, if we don't fear you might be, but maybe we fear God that beg. Because the way he can't react to this video, it can't make us think another thing again. He say show he be like say this he brother just won't come disgrace his sister for no reason but the brother say the sister they do this why the sister they say another thing different my people i go like live una make una by una self yeah from the horsey smart to not be me they talk am na ani idibia the elder brother now they knock all this matter for inside the social media space me in case you they come across my page for the first time my mongolicious people i beg help me click on the follow button to the i proclaim matters and subscribe youtube channel on the boss lady tv love you all for all your massive support not be me one another make a live una make una hear from your mouth direct and as i deliver them when i will still read waiting the sister content reply stay tuned and stay connected see you all on my next video and bye bye hello nigerians my name is wisdom macaulay i'm elder brother of Annie macaulay dibia i'm crying out for help now at this moment, my life is being threatened. I have been working with my sister for some time. 
but she will never pay me my dues. She would rather send me 20,000, 30,000, turn me to her slave. And at the end of the day, she can decide when she's angry to end it. Last, some weeks back, her husband sent me some money, gave me some money. I've been begging him for years. The money wasn't a, so much, but I used it to settle my home. I have a wife. Emo states, I am sorry. They have not come to do the right thing. They have not come to me pay your daughter's dowry. It's not because I don't want to. It's because I've been manipulated for many, many, many years. Annie introduced me to drugs. Hard drugs. Annie takes drugs. She's a drug addict. She takes it every day. She is so violent. And what? And it is the same thing. The same way she doesn't have peace with anybody. She quarrels everybody. She fights everybody. I defended her. I defended her because I love her as a sister. But I now realize that she doesn't even have love or any good intentions for me. I wasn't around for two weeks. I came back because I had my own issues I was trying to sort. I came back, begged my sister that we should continue with the things that, the work and everything. She decided to take everything away from me. She took away the job. She wouldn't give me a car. I've been begging my sister for a car to do Uber for many years now so that I can at least on my own provide for my family, provide for my wife and my three children. My sister has never responded to me. I came back to beg her, okay, let me continue with the job, the manager job that she offered me. She offered me to be her manager. But then at the end of the day, she turned me to her errand boy. She turned me to a slave. Annie is evil. Like, she will not... She, she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. Then this afternoon, after she sent me out of the house, I read that she went on social media to say I beat her. Nigerians, if I beat Annie inside Two Faces' house, will I be able to sleep in Richmond Estate in Legushi for one night? I was there for five, for six, for six days, begging my sister for an opportunity to work, opportunity to feed my children, opportunity to stand on my own. But she will not give me a chance. Every slight opportunity, she will call my wife and insult my wife. She insults everybody. She is violent. Every night she's on drugs. Every day she's on drugs. Even as she's reading this, even as she's hearing this now, she knows I am saying the truth that she's ordering for crack. She introduced me to it. I was never like this. And sometimes it got, got, got into my head. I believe that, okay, as a sister, maybe she had good intentions. If you go back to my previous pictures, this is not how I look. This is not who I am. At the end of the day, she now took away the only opportunity for me to be able to feed my own family from me because she doesn't want me to be able to stand on my own. This morning, I've been begging Annie for the least car in her, in her compound, the least car to you, Uber, that at the end of the day, I'll come and drop it for her. At least be able to provide for my family. My sister refused. And she got me frustrated when she told me I can no longer work for her. She will no longer help me. Just because I did not go for one week, of which I was calling her. The moment she realized that her husband gave me small money, she now she blocked every means of communication with me and set me up to lose the only way that I can feed my children. Nigerians, I am crying. I am begging, I am begging for help. I just want to be able to stand on my own. As I when I was leaving her house, after she told me to leave, this morning, I took the car with a mindset that I will use it for Uber and refund it to, and, and, and returning me back to her. But she sent her driver with some boys with knives. Nigeria, she sent her driver with knives and Godwin, her driver, with knives. They were hitting the car, hitting the car, so I was afraid. I did not know what was happening. I now packed the car somewhere and ran for my dear life. Nigerians, she now called the police to tow the car to Ogombo, Ogombo police station. As I'm speaking to you now, she has sent threats everywhere. My life is at risk. My wife's life is at risk. My family, my children, everybody's at risk. Please, I want Nigerians to know today that if anything happens to me or any member of my family, it is not far from Annie. I need help. Please, I need help. I beg, I beg. I need help. I cannot continue like this. I'm scared. I don't know what she's going to do next. She's on drugs. She's on drugs. She's so violent. Annie is so violent. Annie is so ill-tempered. Annie is so angry with everybody. She fights everybody from her in-laws. Even her own mother cannot talk to her. Even my wife, Doris, she insults my wife at every slight opportunity because she's the one at the end of the day 
that will say, okay, take 20,000 naira and eat. And I only ask for an opportunity to be able to do something for myself. And the same car, she said people that train almost killed me this afternoon. And now she has towed the car to the police station, Nigeria. Please, I need help. Please, please.